Hello, my name's Kaylee. Welcome to my channel. I'm doing a tutorial today on redheads, redheaded skin, um, strawberry blondes, Irish people, auburn haired people, um, anyone you could consider a ginger or is Irish or yeah, or if speckles or if you fall into any of those categories, um, you have rosy cheeks, you look like a tomato after you exercise. Um, basically, all us redheads. So, um, for me, I've always had like problems wearing uh, certain shades of makeup or wearing certain clothes that like someone else, like a blonde for instance, would look fabulous in. So, I wanted to make a tutorial today on like makeup and certain colors that I find flattering. And if you don't find them flattering or if you completely disagree with me, cool. Um, I go against my rules all the time. I'm just you know, giving you ideas, so, yeah, um, my inspiration, uh, well, the redheads that I look up to most commonly, like celebrities, are, uh, Florence from Florence and the Machine and Julianne Moore, mostly because I think that they're really, like, natural, and, um, they're, they, well, with Julianne Moore, she ages so gracefully, um, classic beauty, like, kind of, uh, earthy, and that kind of inspiration, so that's probably going to show in the colors that I'm going to show you. So yeah, um, my first palette that I wanted to show was the Secret World um, ESP 10C8 NYX palette. So that's what the back looks like if you want to look it up maybe on the internet. Um, these pretty much just say everything that I want to say. Um, they have earthy tones. The greens look really good because they're the opposite color of orange. So these are kind of like opposite colors, but they both look really flattering. Um, the greens I commonly wear. I like to do a green smoky eye. That's one of my favorite looks, like the one I have now. I used this color, this color, this color, not these, not this one. This one for the highlight, not this one. And I used this one in the crease here, if you could tell, just to warm it up a bit. Most commonly, uh, though, I'll use this color, this color, this color, and this color to make a smoky eye as well. I really like this palette. I think it was $10, and yeah, it's my favorite palette that I have, and I have some pricey ones too, so. And I really like NYX uh, pigments. They're really great. They don't have a lot of fallout, You don't, but they also like come off really easy on the brush. Um, yeah, so I highly recommend this one. Uh, another one by NYX is this one is Sexy Blue Eyes. So if you have blue eyes, or even green, like any kind of light colored eyes, even hazel would work. Um, this one's really good for making your eyes pop. So I like these ones in the bottom three here, and this one here, and this one for a shadow. So these ones are, this one's the highlight obviously. This one's like, not all over lid, but like, half of your lid, kind of like to hear. Anyway, you could do it however you like, but I really like these colors on redheads as well, but it makes the, it's the opposite of the color blue, so it makes your blue eye really like pop out. Um, I have a hard time with blues, and I think other pale people will agree with me that I do get a big, um, since my skin's so translucent, I'll get the um, under eye circles when I'm not tired. It just looks like that all the time. Like, you can see the veins in my eyelid when I'm not wearing makeup. Um, you can see, like, veins in my neck, really. Like, you can... I'm a blue blonde, true and true. Like, so whenever I wear blue, I think it kind of accentuates that. And it doesn't really do anything for my eye color in the first place. Um, the only color that I actually find works if you want to do, like, a blue would be this color here. Doesn't bring out, like, the purple... It's not too bad. It's kind of like a gray, kind of gray blue is kind of flattering. But even then, like, I would rather use the silver or this color here. I, I wouldn't recommend the blue. I really like blue on people with dark skin tones. I think it looks really good on them. But unfortunately, I'm the opposite, so. Um, another thing that I want to bring up was eyebrows. Because most eyebrow pencils are, like, not the right color at all. Um, I've tried the ones that are supposedly for redheads and it looks horrible. It's like bright orange or like rust color and it's, it 
brings the eye to it right away and ne it's never a good idea. So what I've looked for personally was I've looked for pencils that are marketed to very light bl fair blondes. Um, yeah, like with a gray undertone, not a red undertone. Like, it's pretty close and this one doesn't have any red in it. Like, I'm sure it looks like it does, but that's probably my hair underneath even. Um, the what I'm using right now is the Elf Eyebrow Kit. It was like two dollars, and um, it comes with like you can use this. I don't use it, but I have, and it's not that bad. Um, it comes with like this part doo -doo -doo, for like the gel, and then you can put the powder in where there's like holes missing. I just use an angled um, eyeliner or eyebrow br brush, and I just use this color here, and it's been the lightest color that I could find. I'm sure you could use like a lighter eyeshadow color that you like yourself, um, but I think that unless, like, if you have eyebrows already, like they're not shaved off or or they're not too uh, overly plucked or whatever, this will be good because you can just cover over top of your hairs. But if you have to use a pencil, um, there was a Maybelline or Almay, I forget which one, but it's red and you can get it at the drugstore and the whole thing is red and it's um, marketed towards blondes and it has gray undertones and it's more flattering than any of the browns or even other blonde ones that I've seen like yeah so yeah that's all I have to say about brows I think and I, I'm one of those people that if your eyebrows are darker than your hair I don't care like I think it looks pretty cool I'm not a picky person um, at all when it comes to eyebrows. Like, any shape, any size, if it works for you, rock it. I just really, really hate that rust color that you get from eyebrow pencils sometimes. Um, I brought this one just to show, like, the colors as a don't colors would be, like, the, these colors here. Like, don't. <laughs> Unless you're going out to, like, a party and it's, like, a once in a lifetime thing like you're wearing like something that completely it would be so flattering with but there's so many other colors that you could pick to do that so um if and then there's another palette that I have here it's the Kat Von D palette um this one is Little Sinner and I've used most of it sorry about the dirty mirror but um this color here is a really great color for redheads. It's like um it's hard to tell, but it's like really green, but like a gray, nice shadow green. It's kind of like a nude, like on what you would find in like Urban Decay. Instead of brown, you have like that green tinge. Um, I really like any kind of um nude or natural gold colors or um just neutral colors look really good. Um I wouldn't recommend pink because we have pink undertones to start off with and yeah um with so far as blush though I'm pretty like open with that like you can pretty much go any color it's not a big deal but I wouldn't wear pink on your eyes because we are so pink it'll bring that out and it'll also um, make you look really tired or sleepy unless you are really really good at it so yeah I wouldn't recommend that and I'll show you this one. This is one of my favorites, the Kat Von D palette. It is in Poetica, and half of these are good and half of these aren't. So as you can tell, these four are good. They're uh, natural, they're, well this one's not very natural, but they're earthy, very like um, foresty, like things like if you think of like Ireland or Scotland, what what does the atmosphere colors look like, you know? So these ones are good. These ones again will bring out the dark circles or the um, opacity, I guess, of your skin and you could see like the veins. And I don't know, it accentuates it more. You, I've used these obviously, like I've used them, but if you want to like just know what colors are flattering for you, then those are the ones I would do. I think I have one more example here. Oh, right. Um, ooh, my camera moved. Ah, no, stay. Okay, so the other ones that I have are uh, lipsticks. So lipsticks, 
also. Um, you could go any color, it doesn't matter. Um, whatever works for you, really. I think bright colors. You could wear purple lipstick, black lipstick, blue lipstick, whatever you, whatever you, makes you happy. Ah. Um, yeah, so whatever makes you happy. These are ones that I find really flattering. So this one is CoverGirl in Delish. And it's like that color. It's like a nude, but more darker and more corally. Well, not even corally, like, I don't know, hard to explain. You can see for yourself, I'll do a swatch here. But, kind of close. But, I like how it's more um, brown than it is more blue. Like, it's more of that warm color than it is that blue pink. Like, this one, I like. This one's like a coral. It's a matte. Um, this one is Smoked Peach, and I'll do the swatch there. That one's a nice one. Um, I do have a pink that I like, but it doesn't, it makes me look washed out. So this is going to be an example of the domes. This one here, it's like a blue light pink. I love the color. It looks awesome, but just not on me. <laughs> like, but I'm still going to wear it. Like I said, like, do what you want, right? Uh, here's a swatch of that. And yeah, it's just, it's not flattering at all, but I love that color. Um, another one that actually looks good as a pink is this one here. But again, this one would be more with a gold, like, I not a green at all. Like, it would clash. So, there's the swatch there. That's this one. Yep. Yeah. That's the NYX Rosebud. And another brown one that looks really great with anything, kind of a nude but like darker, because I don't like the lighter nudes, um, they wash out your face. Like, since we're so pale already, nude just washes you out completely. It makes you look like you have no lips. And women are supposed to have like luscious lips, right? So that's why we wear lipstick and lip gloss, because we want to draw attention to them, not away. Um, another thing point I wanted to make is I really hate that look when someone does a dramatic smoky eye and then they do their lip the same color as their skin it's like it looks creepy to me I don't know but so here's a swatch of the other one I put it up here this one here yeah but yeah so I think oh uh, if you want oh, I got one more if you want to go really bright I like oranges instead of like a bright pink I really like the bright oranges but like this one looks nice especially with the green if I wore this here I'll put it on this one's the body shop and see it just like brightens up the face it doesn't wash you out it doesn't take attention away from your eye but it just me meshes together well um, this one is Ooh, I can't even see it anymore because it's so old, but it's from the body shop. And I'll do a swatch on the top here. It's this one. Really bright. Love it. Um, I think I've gone through everything. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped somebody. Um, or, yeah, pretty much. Never let anybody say that you should never wear black mascara because you're a redhead or because you're pale because I totally think that's bullshit. Again, do whatever you want. Have fun with this. Don't take me too seriously. Thanks so much and subscribe if you'd like. Thanks. Bye.